little hats off to Moog for its new product, the Subharmonicon. This instrument seems to be a little bit different than what Moog has done in the past. Um, their past instruments were subtractive, synthesizer based, and um, this new one has a real emphasis on creating polyrhythms, creating melodies and harmonies. So it has a real creative um, emphasis to how it's formatted. Um, so it's great to see. And I thought I'd just mention a few uh, tips in case you didn't uh, have the funds to buy a new one or you wanted to explore kind of how to get some of the same sounds that you can on the subharmonicon just through patching in your modular synthesizer whether you have a hardware one or a software or whatever that I just throw in some tips here so people could experiment a little bit and then also to hopefully get some more interest in VCO makers to um, include more creative ways to do sync which is what I'll be looking at here, which is how we'll create the harmonic um, cascading sound that you hear. I should mention I'm using an Oakley VCO and then an old Paya VCO, which have certain characteristics in how their sync inputs respond to another VCO coming in. When I use my Blasset VCO, it's more of uh, kind of a phased type of synchronized sound, but on the uh, Oakley and the old Pi here, you get actually distinct notes like you hear with the subharmonicon. So I'll just give a few musical examples and you can take it from there. I'm using pretty much uh, pretty simple things, oscillators, the VCOs, I have a Korg SQ-1. Uh, sequencer and then a CV input which uh, CV source which will boost the uh, CV input on the VCOs to sweep the frequencies
So there you have it. It's uh, just another way to get some of the same sounds that you do with the, um, the Moog. And uh, you could use this in conjunction with having a Moog too. I mean, it's they're not mutually exclusive. Obviously the Moog does some things that are very uh, characteristic of that unit itself. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier to have everything in one unit to uh, it's all set up basically you can run it straight into those polyrhythms and complex uh, chords so it's great having it all set up you don't have to patch it and everything but it doesn't take too long to set up a sync patch to here and mess with that and it's a lot of fun there's a ton of uh, different variations that you can do with this obviously when you start mixing and matching some different things so have fun with it and leave some comments down below if you want and uh, we'll see you around right